I've been selling on eBay for about a minute, um, about two months now, and I've noticed a disturbing pattern. Um, usually people, when, they, when you're on eBay, they'll come to you now and they'll send you a message talking about they want you to give them a deal of some type. And I call these people the dusty eBay hookup haters in reference to Professor Black Truth's great video, the dusty homie hookup haters. In that video, he talks about how people go to black businesses asking for something for free, but then will go out and, hand, and make them, trying to make them to make a deal, and then go to a white business and pay full price. And the same principle applies on eBay these days. You have people who will come to eBay, to an eBayer's um, page, talking, see an item, and then send them a message saying, could I get a deal on shipping? Can, I get a, can you sell it to me for a lower price? Um, I thought the concept of eBay was an auction, and in an auction, you're supposed to be, it's supposed to be sold to the highest bidder, and I find it odd that people want to get a deal. This is not Walmart, this is not a swap meet. eBay is supposed to be an auction, and the price is the price, and just, just like Professor Black Truth said in his video, and that's what I've learned, the lesson is, the price is the price, and if you're really on it, you're going to pay the price plus the shipping. Um, what people I run into these days talking about, they want cheap shipping, they want no sh free shipping, and it doesn't work that way. I mean, the United States Postal Service rates are high these days. It costs anywhere starting from about 6 to about 9 to $10 to ship a package these days. And these dusty people will come to you talking about, can I get a deal on shipping? Can you ship it regular mail? There are certain packages, people don't understand, don't ship regular mail. Um, certain package sizes only ship priority mail and in the case of, of eBay I'm not going to ship it that way because I need that insurance and delivery confirmation and priority mail flat rate boxes give me that rate on those items and it's for my safety it's for my insurance rate it's, for, it's just to protect me and these dusty people will come to you and they will just sit there and be like, well, they want, they want to get a deal. This is not a deal. I mean, people just, they're trying to use eBay like a swap meet or something like that. And I find it very sad. I mean, this is a business. And when you're in business, the price is the price. If you don't want to pay the price, then you go on to the next auction. That's the way I used to do. Because I was, I've been on eBay since 2001. And I was, I, first I was a buyer, but now I'm doing some selling. And... The rates, people want to, this is the begging, it's like literally begging. I mean, I remember an auction that I, a message I got from a woman from Canada, and this was this is the craziest message I got. She was asking me, can I send her, can I let her buy a doll that I was putting up for auction for $10 plus shipping? And she said the shipping was high, and the shipping was only eight seventy five U.S. And shipping to Canada is forty two dollars priority mail. I mean, and really, she was really. And then she came in with the shaming language, talking about the kids would really appreciate it. My boss won't let me buy Barbie dolls because of self image. None of this stuff had anything to do with a business transaction, and it was a whole lot of deflecting and and shaming tactics. And I saw right through it, and I just told her the price was the price because. Nobody's going. I can't, this this item is is 16 years old. It's collectible. It's I don't collect dolls. If somebody gave it to me to sell for them, and you're not going to get it for nothing. And the problem with a lot of people on eBay is that they're really dusty. I'm not saying all people on eBay, but there's some people on there that are truly, truly dusty, and they want to get something for nothing. They want a big bargain. This is and they don't understand the concept of auctions. Auctions are about selling a product for the highest bidder for the highest price. It is not about getting you a deal. If you get a deal in the process of an auction, let's say an auction starts at 99 cents, and it stays at 99 cents, then the seller has a contractual obligation to fill that um, business deal and take a loss on it. But if he can't, if, he, if the price is the price, if the price starts out at $20, you're going to have to pay $20. You can't come in there sending people messages, can I get it for 20 I mean, you don't look at, you don't, people don't look at themselves and see how much of a bum they look at. Like, 
going to an auction site and begging. I mean, this is begging. And it's deeply, it's sad to me to watch people do stuff like this. I mean, eBay is not a hookup site. Business, this is not, I'm going to hook you up. I mean, the principle of business is to make as much money as possible on items. And on an auction, you're trying to make as much money possible. I mean, people need to understand that this is not a hookup. And then in business, you're going to have to pay the price. The price is the price. I mean, if you went into a store, I mean, the same person, the same woman from Canada, if she had gone into a um, family dollar or a 99 cent store or a Rite Aid or any of these other stores, Toys R Us, she would have had to have paid the full price for that same doll that she was trying to hustle me for. Um, because they have dolls there and the dolls are $10. If you want a doll at that price, you go and you head over to that store and you pay that price. You don't go on eBay begging a guy for a toy that and hoping to get a little bit, hoping to get it for less if it's on an auction site. If this is an auction, you're going to have to pay full price. And you're going to have to pay for the shipping. And the big problem I have a lot of people is they want to complain about the shipping. It costs too much. It costs too much to ship. Well, the United States Postal Service raised its rates on January 1st of this year. Uh, stamp, first class stamp is now 49 cents. Um, priority rail flat rate box is $12.35. And the large flat rate box is $17.35. Those costs have to be factored in on any purchase. And people need to understand that in business there's overhead. And, no, and if, those, if there are costs that people have to pay, those costs are going to be passed on to you. Um, that's a basic tenet of business. If something costs a producer more, then the consumer is going to have to pay more. And there's no way getting around it. These costs are fixed. This is, this is basic economics 101. If you took economics in high, school, in high school or in college, you would understand the concept of fixed price, fixed costs, and how all these things factor in into the finished price. Um, basically, there are no, there's no, the dusty homie eBay haters are going to have to understand that you can't get a deal. Um, if you put in a bid for something, you just got it's, it's, it's a gamble. You, you either may get it at that low price or you may not get it at that low price. You have to understand that there are the reason why these prices are sometimes are set a certain way and the shipping is a certain way because the post office rates are a certain high, rate. eBay has fees that eBay takes 10% of your auction and PayPal takes, I think, about maybe 3 or 4%. So in between them, the 15% of that price is gone. So if you see a price on something, because the, the seller's not, sometimes the seller has to take a loss on it. So he's trying to get the maximum value for his dollar, him, his or her dollar. Um, this is not charity. If you want charity, there's a nice place called the Goodwill. You can get toys for cheap there. You can get stuff for cheap there. But don't go to eBay looking for a hookup, looking for a deal. Um, that's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.